Hello, everyone. Good morning on this wonderful Saturday. Let's check out some footage from last night, shall we? So, right away, I'm already seeing some of the rounded cutoffs. As you can see, I have a red rare. Got something bigger above and something different over there. The reason I say there's something in front of the sun is because the, the light actually of the sun will stall out in one area um, when it's going down behind a, another set horizon, I guess you could call it. Um, until the light is complete, until the sun is completely down below it and the light starts coming out from below it, um, all you're going to see is the light on top of it just sitting there as the sun goes down and we're still seeing the light that's escaping out the top until, you know, we don't see it anymore. <laughs> Let's keep going on this footage here. You see is the sun is not really moving. We're getting some shadow over here. The sun's getting wider. Uh, assuming that that means the sun is getting down to where the top edge of the planet is. And as you can see, the sun, it really isn't coming down. It's just sitting there stalled out. Now, as it gets stalled out, it should get smaller and smaller, just like it's doing. Um, that is not another telltale sign that it's going down behind something else other than our horizon. You start to see the cast shadows as it gets further down behind it. Now we'll see some spread out a little bit more and it'll start to separate from the from the top, you know, shine of it. It's just like when it goes down behind a mountain you know, it, it pretty much makes the mountain disappear until it falls behind it completely. And as you can see, I mean, look at these shadows, you know. The light's still coming over the top of it and pinching up between other things. But look at the shadow. See, that sun went down behind another horizon. We did not see that go down at our horizon. See, it was stalled out up there right where the light is still kind of, you know, coming out because that's the only bright place in the sky at the moment. Now we'll see the light coming out from the bottom. See how it's coming out the side here? Go up and over the top again. See how it illuminated it? Now it'll go back down around the sides. Got a lot of light coming out from above it. Just to show you the light. See that? How it rounded over the top of that? It was coming out the top only. And then it fell behind the planet. And then coming out the bottom. Showing you the bottom. How it wrapped around there. See how it's rounding. That's the bottom of a planet. Like I've been saying. <laughs> you may not be able to see it completely, but it is there, obviously, because you see the light shining around it. I'll show you a few more times if it doesn't sink in. <laughs> that is wrapping around the bottom of something else. See? All right, let's move on to the next location. Now, right away, you can already see the shadow below. I know it's hard to see below, but, you know, it is there. You can also see something up here breaking light around something. And something bigger over here, because you can see the dark side of it. As the sun gets covered up, we see some bees on the lens. <laughs> so 
The sun is just going to sit there and stall out right where it is. See how it's really not moving that much? Normally it'd be like heading for the horizon as fast as it can, but it's still basically sitting at the same spot. It's like in the other. Now you see it going down behind what's right in front of it. See that? That's all round and shadowed. Now you're getting a general illumination of something here with the dark side here. Also up here. See how this is more green? Now you can see the green reflecting off the top of what the sun went down behind. Now the sun's really brightening everything up. And you can see that it's behind something over there. As the light still pinches out and starts to illuminate the rest of the sky finally. Look how green it's getting. <laughs> Lots of green from that right side. All right, let's see what this one is doing. I mean, already you can see the light is wrapping around that one area. Coming up. I mean, look at that big shadow right there. It's just not moving. And there's the sun coming down. We can see it's going down behind something even from this angle. And over here, look, the sun is coming out, re reflecting on something else. Don't know what that is, but that is definitely something else. Yeah, see, this is definitely something else. See the big shadow? dark side. This looks like Yuri. Still in the way. <laughs> At this angle, that's probably where it would be though, but it's definitely even a cast shadow. And what's behind it? It looks like probably Nibiru and its moons. Yeah, look at that. See? That may just even be Nibiru all by itself with the uh, the red planet there. You can see the light, how the light's coming out from both sides now. Still leaving that area of darkness. Reflecting over here off another. Yeah, definitely. Wow, that is just freaking crazy. Yeah, the sun goes down over to the far right. <laughs> See it way over there? Going down. Wow, that is an awesome awesome shot. Yeah, so, sun went down over to the right. I'm assuming this is the uh, eclipsing moon, maybe? <laughs> wow, look at that. That is just dynamic. Dynamite. Whoa. See, you can see it going down over there. That is a planet setting over there. Yeah.
You see the cutoff. You see the shadow. As the sun gets lower, it'll get darker below it. See the shadow already starting to take shape down there. Now the sun should start to stall out like it has been everywhere else. There's the shadow, just like in every other location. Oh, look at the shadow up on the on the side up here. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Wow, look at that light up on the right side there. And the sun disappears behind a raised. Oh, look at that. That is crazy looking right there. Well, that was cool. going around this planet right here. See that? The red. Got this area blocking the light. Got this area up here reflecting the light. You got this right here going on a uh, crescent illumination.
All right, let's see what happens over here with the light. By the way, I can see that there's a great big side of illumination right there. See how the light keeps pinching more to the right? Getting something below the earth. Yeah, definitely blocking the light right here, forcing it straight down. See how the clouds over there aren't even getting any illumination at all? They will when the sun comes down far enough. For a brief moment. Yeah, I see how they're getting light now as they come around this edge. Yeah. That's got nothing to do with the uh, sun hitting the lens. Especially when you got two different colors. Wow, that is a very telling tail right there. See how the light's going down and under? All through here. Being pinched down. Bap, as I like to call it. See how it came in at a 45 degree angle? I call it Bap for binary asteroid pack. You can see the light breaking and all the clouds just disappearing into the shadow. Right away. Who can tell me what they see? <laughs> the light coming down around the side of something. How obvious is this? There's nothing there to stop the light from just spreading out. Except for the big dark area in front of it. That looks like blue sky, which is far from it. See how it's still breaking the light around it? Yeah, you do. That is so obvious. Now it's reflecting the light. See? The sun's coming down, going behind something else on the below it, reflecting off the side of the other. Above it. Wow. Well, lots of white pages to cut out. See how the sun is stalled out up there? It's not coming down in this area at all. Instead, you're seeing the light coming down around something else. See? Just stalled out in the middle of the sky. Now you can see how the light's definitely going around something. You can see the rays, the breaking rays. See, the sun's not moving, it's stalled, going down behind blue sky. <laughs> See that? It just did it right in front of you. Oh, we're getting the sunlight coming from around the edge. It's that right there, and going around whatever is right in front of it. As the light just envelops the whole thing, getting Bigger. Look at that dark side on that left. Jeez. That is just phenomenal proof right there. That the light is breaking around something caught causing a cast shadow in the sky. Otherwise there would be no shadow up there. It'd be all glary and bright like the rest of it. See that? Still dark up there. As the sun gets lower, it'll get brighter, but not for very long. Wow, look at all that reflection there. So the, what's up? whatever's on the right is still a lot closer to the sun than whatever's on the left, isn't it? Otherwise, it'd be just as dark over there. But as you can see, it's still reflecting quite a bit of light. Now this, the left side is finally picking up the, the light as the sun gets below and illuminates the bottom as it sets. See that? See all that different area back in there? It's illuminating finally. 
Yeah, of course you do. See how the light's bending around and going straight down in this area? <clears throat> Pretty visible. I mean, the whole side is illuminating this bright, weird blue, and you can see the, the far right side of the screen is much darker. Even though there's plenty of light right there. Not getting past that area, but it's definitely still right there. Look at that big shadow. Forcing the light down and under. Ah, uh, I see. Pushing the light down and under. That bit of blue sky over there. Shouldn't it just be bright? <laughs> now it's really getting bright because the sun's below it. Wrapping around it, shooting a cast shadow. You see this shadow? How it's casting down around something. As the light gets lower. It ain't clouds. They, they want you to think it's cloud, but let me look at it. Yeah, the blue sky is pinching down on top of the sun up there. And now the light's boxing over right here. See how it's just boxing? You got something right here as well. See how the light's going around it? Quite a weird looking pinch right now. See how the light's going down and under? Got something up here blocking light now, too. Now it's starting to illuminate. See that? Those aren't, you know, normal back in there. I mean, I mean, mistaken. I, mean, I might, be, I may be mistaken, but those do look like, you know, landscapes and electrical discharge craters. See how light goes all the way down, and across, and up, <laughs> and that whole area was dark this whole time. Now it's illuminated. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. There's the uh, round shadow there. We got reflecting light up here. More reflecting light over here. There's just no denying it, you know. Have a good weekend. Thanks.